what is the most rewarding aspect of music making times four? Well, I think the flip side of the last question, which is that you get to share these amazing experiences and this amazing music with four people that you really like a lot and really respect. Um, I think it would be quite lonely, actually, to be a soloist. <laughs> but maybe it's for some people. I, don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. think. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> I think the answer is actually kind of in the question. Music times four. Although I would use different math. I wouldn't say it's multiplied. I'd say it's to the exponent. So <laughs> my ideas are exponentially more interesting when I add these three to them than they would be alone. Yeah, I think that's what I was going to say. I think when I hear my colleagues' ideas about music and opinions, that it actually inspires me and um, to come up with, uh, it, it, yeah, it makes our ideas richer somehow. Yeah, yes, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> and we agree. <laughs> okay, this one's tough. Given developments in technology and materials, why have the violin, viola, and cello remained essentially the same for more than 400 years? Well, it's completely speculative, of course, but uh, you know the saying, you don't mess with a good thing. <laughs> I think that... Well, I would like to think that there is something very timeless and very eternal about these instruments and about quartet music, and that's why it stayed around for so long, is that there are certain qualities or certain feelings or thoughts that come along with this music and this playing that everyone can relate to at varying points in time and place, and that's why it's stuck. Mm -hmm. I would just add that I think there's something special about our instruments, obviously, I think that, or I wouldn't play them, but, I mean, for instance, I love techno, I'm like, totally into electronic music, but I feel like it speaks to us differently than an acoustic instrument made of wood ringing, well, for me, right here, and for an audience member a few feet away, there's something kind of, I don't know, I can't really describe, and maybe there isn't a scientific reason, but it's very special, and I think it resonates with people. Yeah. I think one of the qualities for me about our instruments is the intimate nature of um, of playing, well, especially chamber music. I think that appeals to people on some sort of humanistic, on some sort of humanistic level. 